Hello. Let's carve thin straight lines in the mesh. Okay. Here there are a few options to carve the lines in the mesh. Fast and easy. But you have to watch your mesh. Which poly count you use, you have to choose different options. And yeah, let's start with a new scene. And at the moment, this is a poly count. And I show you a picture now. And you can smile or not. <laughs> you can use real physical objects on your tablet screen, like a, a credit card or a ruler, and use it. To create straight lines. This is only the first option I show you. And here let's use a little bit more poly count and I use now the layer, the layer tool. I use a, a small dot alpha like this to create thinner lines and yeah dot is active and okay and here you can add a layer and now we can use the symmetry symmetry is active and now i'm using the credit card on the screen and when i draw now a line along the the edge of the credit card it creates thin straight lines like this. And watch your mesh. If you use tools and brushes, they stretch the mesh. Here you see the, the vertices are stretched. In this case, you have to, to remesh your mesh and uh, check keep sharp edges or not and remesh it and yes and now you, you your mesh is uh, also in the straight lines and yeah yet the higher the resolution the better the result and you can use uh, the round all brush <laughs> dave showed us in the last video uh, or okay and then you get something like this so we have a, a nice poly count here and the next option is to use the cell mask um, here check your settings front face vertex off and create a, a thin mask here, like this. Lock the front view. And you can now use the gizmo and scale your mesh in the green direction then you create um, thin lines like this. And always here watch your mesh, you stretch the mesh, then you have to, to remesh it. Now the mesh is okay. So and smooth the mesh or not. Okay. Next option. I delete this, I bring in a box and we need more resolution. We subdivide it a few times. 
And again, you can use the cell mask. And in, in this case, we use the front facing vertex only checkbox and the symmetry we can use and the rectangular. And now mask a part of your mesh and at the left side there's an unmask option. And uh, use now the... Sorry, I, I, I blurred the, the mask. And now you can unmask the, the part you don't want. And here you got your straight line. And now it's possible to invert the mask and with a gizmo you can bring in the straight line in this direction and clear the mask. And watch again here, you stretch the mesh, you need a, a voxel remesh and in this case we can use keep sharp edges and remesh it. So you get a nice line here some problems appear i think uh, let's try to remesh it again i think we need a higher resolution now it works so here you got your sharp lines. So the next option is here the, the box and we have a, a lower poly count and uh, one easy way is to split the mesh. You can use here the, in the settings the fill holes option and rectangular and here start and split your mesh and the second one is a thin line and also with the gizmo and in the green direction here you can bring the thin line inside. In. You can only bring in in the blue direction like this. I turn the wireframe off here like this or in all directions like this. And when you're happy, you can select all your meshes again and join it. When you use smooth shading or not, here in, when you have an object with real straight lines and a clean mesh, you can turn off smooth shading. You can also uh, turn it off in the material settings here, smooth shading off only for this mesh and then it's possible to use smooth shading for the other meshes and when you now use post-processing you get a, a real sharp edge and yes it looks like this. This is the option with splitting. Okay, and did I forget? Ah, yes. Um, and the last one, but it's not so exact, is here our poly count. And we need a, a real high resolution, a million. And you can use the symmetry for this. <coughs> Sorry. 
um, the radial up to 32 and when you use now the the layer tool or the grease brush or something and symmetry is active so you can brush here the thin lines in the mesh but it's a little bit checky uh, if the poly count is too low and we have sh we have already 1.5 million um, <coughs> And with the intensity slider, you can adjust how deep the cut is. And so, and here, watch your your mesh. You have to remesh. And now you get such lines. And when you change the symmetry in this direction you can create here your lines like this and use a voxel remesh and with a round all brush symmetry off you can smooth your your lines but this is only yeah not not the perfect option okay i think i got the most of the tools you can use for the straight lines oh i forgot one um, there's also, um, you can use um, a straight line alpha <coughs> here, um, import um, such a, a thin white line on a black background and let's use uh, the brush tool. select the alpha and grab dynamic radius and here with a sub function you can also create uh, such lines it depends on the mesh uh, when we bring in a, a box And we use this brush um, here in the settings it's possible to uh, set the the rotation lock and when you use it with the, the lock function you can here brush your straight lines like this and with a flat fall off yeah you can create such cuts in the mesh and intensity slider use it like this So, <clears throat> and then you can again uh, voxel remesh the whole thing. I think these are the most options you have to create such, such straight lines. That's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.